to find Hobotech, Saznak, Gus and the Bus, and well, everybody else too. Just look for the skeleton sitting in the tree on Mitchell Mine Road. She's doing a good job keeping watch. Eventually, if you turn right there, you'll come to this place, the end of the road. And we've set up camp here. Every night, we sit around the fire and we have a lot of fun. You'd be amazed at who shows up to say hello to Hobotech and Saznak. This morning, it was Russ from RVer TV. This was going to be a shopping channel. Uh huh. RVer TV. A shopping channel. A shopping channel in Quartzite. And, uh,. That went to the wayside, and for four years it just kind of uh, sat there. In 2015, a friend of mine was doing uh, travel, making videos, and she told me, she goes, your stuff's too good not to be seen. And I said, all BS. So I posted one, and it had a uh, thousand views in a month. Wow, that's good. And I had like four subscribers. Wow. And that's how it started. In RV or TV, it just kind of morphed into whatever it is today. I got you in the shade so nobody can see you. Yeah. I hung around camp this morning admiring some pretty fine machines. This one apparently will climb just about anything until you get to about 11,000 feet. It's fun to sit around and get to know the people. After all, we all share some things in common. We all love to go RVing. So I decided I better go into Phoenix to pick up some oxygen. There are many aero cares in Colorado, including in my little tiny town of about 7,000 people. But in Arizona, there's only one aero care, and that's in Phoenix. It was over a two-hour drive to get here and right now I'm not needing the oxygen as much. Uh, I only need it generally when I'm above 6,000 feet and I've been some times as low as 800 feet above mean sea level. So I've been doing pretty well but I don't know when I'm going to be leaving and where I'm going when I'm leaving so I wanted to be prepared I also wanted to choose a day that wasn't uh, one of the busy days at the RTR, at the not RTR as some people call it, since the RTR is not where we are uh, and they're not doing group camping this year. And today was a day a lot of people were going out in dune buggies and having fun in the desert. I don't have a dune buggy so it was a great day for me to hop on the highway and head to Phoenix and so that's what I did. <laughs> So here I am at AeroCare. As it turns out, AeroCare is located near the Phoenix Airport. And so it was kind of fun to watch the airplanes take off. I used to spend a lot of time at these airports, but that is another story. Meanwhile, the signs at the rest areas remind us to be careful. Other kinds of creatures inhabit this desert environment. We're not the only ones. I got my oxygen, bummed around Phoenix for a little while, had a pretty good dinner, and then I headed home. Home to the campfire. Home to Scat and Wash. Home to the other nomads who were enjoying themselves by the campfire. Well, this is Tim Painter for The Van Life, wishing you all the very best. If you like what you see, please press like. Please leave your comments. And please subscribe. This is Nomad Life. I hope to see you here soon. Bye bye.